the iForm Builder Admin Control Panel. To access the Admin Control Panel, visit iFormBuilder.com and select the Sign In button in the top right corner. Enter your username and password. Remember, all passwords are case sensitive and select Login. The Admin Control Panel is separated into five key areas Data, Forms, Users, Company, and Support. By default, the Data tab will be displayed when you log in. All forms that your username has been given permission to view data on are listed. Note that there are data views as well as data feeds. Once a record is submitted to the cloud or server, it is available immediately in a wide variety of formats. You can have a list view, a map view, a graph view, an HTML view, or all of your data in an Excel spreadsheet. Additionally, if you want to push records from the admin control panel into another web service or backend system, you can use the data feeds. We provide an XLS, XML, JSON, RSS, or Anton feed. To access individual records on a form, simply select the ID for that form. All records that have been collected on that form will be displayed. You can dive into each individual record by selecting the record ID. This will display an HTML view of that record. You can also see on a map view exactly where that record has been collected. You can also turn this record immediately into a PDF. Next, let's visit the Forms tab. Under the Forms tab is the Form Assignment, Form Builder, Form Group, and Localization tab. You will build all of your forms using the Form Builder. You can also then assign those forms using the Form Assignment page. If you want to create groups of forms, it's as simple as selecting a series of forms and naming them to a group. We also have a localization feature that allows you to translate forms from one language to another using all supported iOS languages. Next, let's visit the Users tab. Under the Users tab, you have Notifications, Add Edit Users, My Profile, and User Group. Under Notifications, you're able to send notifications or messages from the admin to any users in your field. You're also able to add or edit users and give them permission to either be company admins, create forms, so on and so forth. Under My Profile, you're able to update any information about your user and your user profile. You're also able to create groups of users. This is helpful for company admins to control or manage groups of users or also be able to assign forms to groups of users. Please note that this is simply an overview of the admin control panel. We will be diving into each of these tabs a little later in the training. Under the company tab, you're able to update your company info, your license tab, as well as your billing information. Under the company info tab is where you're going to update all of your company information, add your address, your contact details. You're also able to change the colors of your forms and the color of the app, as well as change the home screen welcome message. You're able to upload and edit any of your emails. You're also able to customize your report. You can insert your uh, public private encryption key uh, for very sensitive data. You're also able to update where your media files are going to be stored as well as link your Dropbox. Under the licensing tab, you're able to see a list of all of your users, the devices that they're currently logged in on, what the app name is, the version that they're using, as well as the last time that they've logged in. From this control panel, you're able to manage your licensing as well as your fleet of users. You're also able to see the license count in terms of licenses remaining on this specific count, as well as the total transactions that have been collected under the Billing tab, you're able to view all of your payment details. You're able to see when your next payment is due, uh, the next payment amount, as well as the status of your account. 
Down below, you're also able to view all previous transactions as well as get PDF receipts of all transactions made. At any time, you're also able to change your account level.